to The Thread and Bobbin, episode 20. My name is Ashley, and today on The Thread and Bobbin, we are going to show you a tutorial on um, how to do a split back for a pillow. So basically you start with whatever you want for your pillow top. So here I just have a piece of fabric that I've quilted, and I just put some muslin on the back because you won't see that when you're done. But this could be an applique piece, it could be pieced, a block, or anything to make your pillow. And I made a um, 18 inch pillow here. This is an example over here of what we have done. So this has some embellishments on it, and it was quilted, it's applique, and then on the back, as you can see, it's split. But you do not have any raw edges or um, any backs of fabric, so it's all, all one piece, and you're able to take the pillow out and wash the case as, as you'd like. So this works on um, multiple size pillows. This one here is a 16 and a half inch. This pillow was an 18 and a half inch and it works on bench pillows, um, any, any size you'd like. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today and um, we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to start for my back. I'm going to pick a half yard of fabric and then I'm going to cut this on the fold. So I've got my salvage here and my fold is here at the top. And I'm just going to take my scissors and run those across there. Because eventually you'll be cutting that part off, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'll want to cut my selvage off, you can see that here, cut that off first. And then I'll fold these in half so they fit across there. Now I have some pieces already pressed and ready to go on. So you can see that there's a nice crisp edge here folded. And I'm going to lay with my wrong sides with my raw edges out from my pillow on the right side of my, on my pillow top. And I'm going to overlap those and line them up on the top and bottom. Now I'm going to flip this over to show you that this does not have to be totally lined up to the edge. You can leave that out. Um, that gives you a little room while you're, you're sewing. So then I will pin this and then I'll show you on the machine how you start sewing around that. Okay, now I have my piece on the machine. And if you want to come on in here, Joe, we can show them that my flaps are here and you want to make sure you have pins holding those flaps down because we've all done it a hundred times where we've sewn and that has flipped back and then we take it off the machine and we're surprised and we have to take it out and re-sew it. So make sure those flaps are nice and flat down and I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to do a tack stitch there and then continue sewing. Take my pin out. And I like my Passport 3.0 because it has a walking foot, which works great with all the layers. And in the month of March for FAF, we have a promotion going on that if you buy a Passport um, 3.0 or 2.0, that you will receive a free extension table, which I have on here now, which works great with a project like this, it gives you a little more room. So now I'm going, coming to the corner and I want to put my needle down. And as I come, I'm going to lift my foot and pivot. And I'm just doing about a quarter of an inch in from the pillow. And you're going to continue to sew down your seam. And we'll come back after I've sewn all the way around. Okay, now I've sewn all the way around my piece, pivot at, pivoted at my corners, and now I'm going to trim. So I'm just going to line my ruler ups right with my batting and my pillow. And just trim that all the way around. You wanna make sure everything's flat, nothing is. four sides. Make sure your flaps are nice and flat and that you've sewn them correctly. Okay, last thing you want to do before you turn your pillow inside out is trim your corners. Just on the edge here, make sure you don't get your seam in there. But you do that just so there's less bulk and so that your corners will poke out and be very nice. Now that I've clipped my corners, I can go ahead and turn my pillow inside out. Okay. 
find my corners and poke them out kind of with my hands right now. And then after I get them all out, I can use my Clover point to point turner, one of my favorites, and get those corners nice and poked out. I'm gonna use my other end here to kind of get this bulk out and then go back to my point and use that. Okay, and now you can see I have my pillow and some people like to top stitch around here and that makes a nice finished look on it. But depending on how big your pillow form is um, and how it fits in there, you might not want a top stitch. So you can see in the back I have my flaps, nice and clean, and washable. So that's a great tutorial. Some people have a lot of questions on that, but like I said, you can do the um, technique on bench pillows, any size, square pillows, any kind of pillow. So some more information for you today on Thread and Bobbin. We all are feeling a little spring fever with this nice weather coming up, so we have some different events going on. Well, our first one is our March class across the counter. As you know, we've been doing this every month uh, since January, and we've had a lot of fun with it. So this um, month on the um, for class across the counter, we will be doing a mitered um, binding. So that includes on placemats, mug rugs, you can do blankets. Uh, so you can come in and for free, we'll teach you how to do that and we'll have a little handout for you to take when you go home. And uh, we hope you all enjoy that and you can stop in any time of the month, any time of the day. We're regular business hours, 10 to five. The next event I wanted to remind everyone about is our National Quilt Day event, uh, March 16th and 17th. We'll have a sale and we have a special bag that is available that day as well. The next one is our 2018 Quilters Road Trip. This is the front of the passports. Passports are $5. There's 12 shops involved and um, this year it is Hollywood style. So each shop will be giving a free block kit for their black and white blocks and each shop will have a different finishing but we're really excited about this. We've got some new things going on with it so you should stop in the shop. We've got passports available and uh, we'll have more information for you. Uh, check our website for the 12 shops that are involved. One last thing. Just wanted to give a plug out to Patches at the Lakeshore, Pals Quilt Guild in Muskegon. They're sponsoring Doug Lico from Antler Quilt Designs. He will be teaching two classes, March 4th and 5th, and a trunk show and lecture March 5th. Don't miss this opportunity. The contact information will be listed below. Thanks for joining us on The Thread and Bobbin. We'll see you next time.